Hey guys, you've probably heard this by now, but Apple is cutting the iPod off their website after 20 years of selling it. The last iPod that was made available was released back in May of 2019 for a similar reason to why the current iPod Touch 7 is getting cut off. They released the Touch 7 due to the iPod Touch 6 running the A8 chip, which was getting cut off not even a month later in iOS 13. So they didn't want to sell an iPod that wouldn't get the latest iOS version. They had to put the A10 chip in the Touch 7, which seemed like a foolproof plan for years. It should have lasted years, right? But as we see now, it's not. The iPod Touch 7 will likely see iOS 16, iOS 17 or 18 is highly unlikely. It will be the last 4-inch device to get iOS 16. This runs a heavily downclocked version of the iPhone 7's chipset, and the iPhone 7 is from 2016. The iPod Nano and Shuffle were discontinued back in 2017, and I managed to get an iPod Nano 7 a few months after it was discontinued, in around September 2017. And I still have it to this day, although I can't find it right now. I saw it a few months back. The iPod Classic was discontinued back in 2014, and I have an iPod Classic's 5th gen that I've kept over a few years, and I had a 6th gen that I got in 2018, but the hard drive died back in August of 2020, unfortunately. Apple had all the reasons to kill the iPod off, but now that iOS 16 is very close to being released, it's time for them to let the iPod Touch go, and we can't really do much about it. I'd love to buy one, but dropping that much money on an old, outdated piece of tech is not something that's very smart of me to do. But thank you to Apple for the iPod. The Touch 4 was, if I remember correctly, the first personal device I ever had, as I didn't share it with family or anyone else. It was mine. The iPod Touch lineup will be remembered for a long time coming, as it had a great, almost 15-year run. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.